shadow stretches up the country lane, and a top hat perched upon the brow of a sneering weasel. Katie Maravich, could you please describe your character for us? Gangy, you see that um, uh, Mrs. Molesley comes by, who's this ancient, ancient, she is the housekeeper and the head of the maid staff. Huge Coke bottle glasses, little gray bun of hair and a maid's outfit. Uh, she comes over and says, oh dear, Gangy, I, I, I know you're dirty, love, but it's pouring cats and dogs outside, it is. Um, uh, you, you, Mrs. Banks has a cup of tea on in the kitchen. Come inside the house just this once. You catch your death of cold out here. You get the pneumonia. Please, come in. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, she squeezes your arm. Even though Gangy is a scary guy, Mrs. Molesley has only ever been the sweetest in the world to you. Um, uh, she comes in and says, get yourself a spot of tea, love. And there's a few scones left with some clotted cream, and I've kept them to the side for you, lovey. Thanks. Um, uh... Um, I think Gengi is, um, getting a little anxious, which is a feeling that he does not like. Um, so he, um, he leaves and steals some, uh, fancy utensils on the way out. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. <laughs> 17. 17. You grab a bunch. Uh, 17, I'm gonna roll here. Uh, as you are grabbing a bunch, um, you can feel suddenly a shape beside you and Mrs. Molesley is next to you, oh. grabbing silverware and putting it into your pockets, like helping you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so cute! <laughs> what a cutie! You see, she says, oh, very, very nice, Mr. Green, very nice. Is the groundskeeper's cottage keeping you well? It's still raining cats and dogs out there, but if you would like to borrow an umbrella to go home, that would be quite all right. But I would hate for you to catch a cold, Mr. Green. All right. Uh, she smiles and says, "Do you, do you own any sweaters? I see you wearing the same coat every day, but out in the countryside, a nice sweater could be good. I, I haven't knitted a sweater in quite some time, but I would be happy to knit you one, my friend." <laughs> and um, I think Gengi wants to be mean, but. This person is so incredibly nice that he even <laughs> Angie is like, all right, thank you. Oh! Um, she, she, she pats you and says, I have been here at Loam Hall longer than any other beast, and that's a fact. I was the nanny when I was a young maid to the little baby Brock Hollow, Lord William, and I know this place like the back of my hand, I do. And I can tell you this, there's a lot of servants here who like to look down their noses at people, even though they's not highborn like anybody else who's serving here. So if any of the boys who work here at Loam Hall give you trouble, you just send them my way. Um, and then Gengi um, looks around to make sure he's not being watched and pulls a little dandelion oh. out of his coat and gives it <laughs> to her. You, um, you pull a little dandelion out um, and she looks at it and has to hold it like right up here to be able to see it oh. and goes like, Oh, it's a flower! 
know, uh, a, a young gentleman, like, you're like 55, she's like, a young gentleman <laughs> hasn't thought to give me a flower in quite some time. I shall treasure this, Mr. Green, I'm blushing. And you see, puts oh. the flower uh, sort of like tucked into the fur by the side of her head, little dandelion. Oh, um, uh, you, so you stride forward and join Sylvester in the study. People look at you doing oh. so. Uh, you walk in and see Mrs. Molesley look up at you through her Coke bottle oh. glasses, uh, uh, crying. Yeah. Um, she looks up at you and she has blood on her hands of the man that she pretty much raised. Yeah. Looks up and says, Mr. Green, what what have I done? Oh. I don't. I didn't. I I I didn't. I, I don't I, think you did it. I don't think you did it. Um, you look at um Mrs. Molesley. Um, with a twenty-two insight, you can see that she's confused. Um, she, at this point, I give her a hug. She returns the hug to you. It has come to the attention as myself as head of kitchen staff that Mr. Green, far from being a grave digger, is also a noted and convicted grave robber. Gasped goes up. Um, uh, and worked for many years in the employ of none other than the nemesis of Mr. Cross, none other than the dastardly and devilish Fletcher Cottonbottom. Um, you see, I've done I've... nothing. <laughs> I've done nothing. Uh, Mrs. Molesley looks up at you, Gangy, and says, Is it true, Gangy? Were you a criminal before you worked here? Yeah, I'm still a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's um, not that big a deal. <laughs> We need to remind yeah, you the constabulary maybe. is on the way. Um, yeah. you, see, um, you see that, uh, uh, Gangy, you you look at Mrs. Molesley and see that you actually just saying that you are a criminal. Um, she smiles and pats your arm and says, well, if you're a criminal, at least you're an honest one, and pats you on your forearm twice. <laughs> um, uh, Mrs. Molesley pulls a little stool next to the sofa, and as uh, Dr. Magpie is on his knees wrapping your wound, Gangy. You see, Mrs. Molesley uh, leaves a hand on your shoulder and just sits beside you um, uh, as you are being tended to. Uh, she says, oh dear, I'm so sorry. Very brave of you to jump in there with your shovel, Mr. Green. I, I, I don't mean to generalize, but I know you London lads are used to a scrap when it comes to it. I shouldn't imagine that I would like to face down Mr. Gangy Green with his trusty shovel in hand. Um, and Gangy blushes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, uh, she just, she says, um, Mr. Reed, is there is there anyone that I can alert or or give word to that um, that you've been injured? I, I know that you live on the grounds, but is there any family nearby that I could alert so that they might come and attend to you or make sure that you're all right? I ain't got no family. You're my family. <laughs> Big, big old tears. Aww. Big old tears bubble at the edges of her eyes. Um, uh, and she pats you <laughs> on the shoulder and she says, quite right, Mr. Green, quite right. You're, you're, going, you're going to be right as rain, my good friend. Um, uh, and, um, ooh, I made myself cry a little bit. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, gangy, uh, real quick, um, you turn to Mrs. Molesley. What do you say to Mrs. Molesley? She sort of pats you. Mm. Hello, mother. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Green. Well, if you're being a little cheeky, is that is that why you were snooping around the elevator, my my dear boy? Well, it's very cheeky, but it shows initiative, which we need if we're going to catch this murderer who tried to frame me. That's an awfully rude thing to do. It's so rude. Uh, very, very rude. Well, it's so I should rude. Like, I should like to to uh, give this uh, 
murderer who tried to frame me and destroy my life and reputation. I should like to give them a stern talking to, should I I'm ever gonna come across them. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to kill You're... him when I oh, find Mr. him. Oh, Mr. Green, no. Oh, my yeah. sweet boy. No, 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 I'm no. I'm going to kill him. Stab him a lot. Oh, I'm gonna that's bleed very out. kind, but please don't no, put yourself I've out on my... No, I've already decided. I ain't gonna <laughs> let this go. I'm gonna, for sure, gonna kill him. <laughs> well, you are you are a peach, Mr. King, <laughs> and I suppose if you if you insist, if you insist... I do, to, I do. To, well, that's all that, eh? Oh, dear, what, what a <laughs> darling boy. Uh, and you see, she says, um, but please don't tell anyone that I told you the elevator's secret, all right? Um, I, I'd better go and look in after the maids. And you see that she gives you a sweet little kiss on the head um, and uh, and walks out of here. And Gangy, I'll put it to you, Gangy. You see these constables kind of roughing up Mrs. Molesley and like dragging her off into the house. Um, I'll uh, kick further their asses. into Lome Hall. What's that? I'll kick their asses. <laughs> well, hell yeah. Hell you yeah. know that there is one century of these crooked constables posted at yes. the kitchen wing. Um, uh, I'm gonna do kill you do. <laughs> I'm gonna um, just absolutely murder him. Um, hell yes. Cool. Uh, gangy. Yeah. Uh, any, any amount of damage would finish this person off. Describe to me what Gangy does in the hallway Perfect. of the kitchen wing to this constable. Um, I think Gangy, well, <laughs> the shovel would be easy, you know, <gasps> easy. But I think Gangy is using this time, he's, seen uh, Mosley get abused by people, mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. fucking pissed. So I think mm -hmm. he uses his hands and he puts his thumbs over the guy's eyes and he squeezes until <laughs> it goes through his eyes, through his skull, through his brain. He clubs you across the face, oh, Gangy, oh. for 10 points of damage. <gasps> ah! Wow. Um, whoop, um, Mrs. Molesley screams and says, not my son! Oh. Um, <laughs> um, amazing, amazing. <gasps> Mrs. Molesley rushes over to you, Gangy, and clutches around your waist. My dear Mr. Green, I, I, I knew that you would come and get me. Thank you so much. Gangy, doing your first noble deed this horrible mastermind villain that you worked for forever looks at you and says, Gangy, a terribly unfortunate time for a change of heart. I knew you couldn't be trusted. That's why I had to recommend your services in secret. <laughs> Fires, Gangy, you are hit in the chest. Drop to zero hit points. I'm going to need you to roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh, I got a natural 20 plus five. Plus five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Gangy, you are shot in the chest, uh, drop to zero, um, and slide off the roof and vanish into the storm, into the darkness. And we'll come back to you later. Gangy Green. Yes. You open your eyes in a comfy, cozy bed. Uh, the walls spattered with blood uh, of your own making as Mrs. Molesley hands you a little cup of tea. Um, you see water dripping in the room through uh, uh, at your feet with a little bucket sort of collecting it on a little tray. Uh, because when you fell from the tower on that nat 20 deck save, you fell through the roof right into Mrs. Molesley's bed. Um, <laughs> can, I, can I address Mrs. Mosley? Yes, you can. I want to say, I think we should take a vacation now. <laughs> um, she smiles and says, 
Really? Mr. Green, that sounds like it would be a lovely time. I'll need you to describe all of the sights that we're going to go and see. <laughs> oh, no! Because <laughs> you're blind. Uh, Sure, yeah, and you get it. Yes, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> um, uh, and she says, um, glad you're feeling well, dearie. Uh, they've gathered everybody downstairs, and I think it's time that we go so that we can put all of this hubbub to rest, dearie. Let me know if you need a hand, my dear. I've got it. Um, and, Gangy, you walk downstairs with Mrs. Molesley to the drawing room. Vicar, you are seated there.